Witnesses in Columbia observed the object gliding with purpose until it struck high voltage power lines and dropped to the ground. Astronomers have learned that our newest interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas, isn't the untouched time capsule many were hoping for. Data gathered by the James Webb Space Telescope and NASA's SPIREX mission show that its outer layers have been chemically transformed by galactic cosmic rays, radiation that has altered it over billions of years drifting through deep space. Instead of observing pristine material from another star system, we're looking at a surface shaped by ages of exposure to the broader galaxy. In this video, we'll explore how scientists reached this conclusion, why it matters, and what it means for studying interstellar objects in the years ahead. Let's begin. 3. I-Atlas was first detected on July 1, 2025, by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, Atlas, in Hawaii. Its hyperbolic orbit through the solar system made it clear that it wasn't gravitationally bound to the sun, strong evidence of an interstellar origin. This made it the third confirmed object from beyond our solar system following Oumuamua in 2017 and 2 i Borisov in 2019. Once identified, observatories worldwide began monitoring it. These observations revealed a surrounding coma of dust and gas, confirming it was a comet rather than an inactive rock. Unlike Oumuamua, whose unusual behavior sparked debates about its nature, 3i Atlas acted like a typical comet, releasing gas and forming tails as sunlight warmed it. But spectroscopy soon uncovered something that didn't match normal comet chemistry. Instruments aboard JWST and Spherex detected an extraordinarily high carbon dioxide to water ratio, about 7.6 plus or minus 0.3, the highest ever measured in any comet from our solar system. For comparison, typical ratios rarely exceed two. Even more unexpected, these readings appeared when the comet was still distant from the sun, at temperatures far too cold for solar radiation to alter its exterior. Initially, researchers suggested that 3i Atlas might have formed in a CO tree's rich end of its home system, or that chemical reactions within its early protoplanetary disk converted carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide. But neither explanation could account for such extreme enrichment. The evidence pointed instead toward a long-term external influence, one that could continue affecting the comet long after it left its original star. That influence was exposure to galactic cosmic rays. These high-energy particles gradually reshaped the chemistry of icy surfaces as an object drifts through interstellar space. A collaborative team from Belgium and the United States examined the spectral data and concluded that galactic cosmic rays, GCRs, were the most plausible cause of 3i Atlas's unusual composition. Cosmic rays made up largely of protons and heavier nuclei accelerated by supernovae and black hole activity, bombard all exposed objects in the galaxy over immense time spans. When these particles hit ice containing carbon monoxide, they break chemical bonds and trigger reactions that convert CO into COC, while also generating organic residues. Laboratory experiments on Earth have replicated these reactions and their results match the spectral signatures seen on 3i Atlas. According to their model, this long-term irradiation built a chemically modified crust roughly 15 to 20 meters thick. The gas is currently venting from the comet, its coma originate entirely from this altered surface layer rather than from its original interior ices. This finding changes how astronomers interpret interstellar comets. They are not untouched relics from distant star systems, but objects whose outer layers have been transformed by their travels through the galaxy. The surface we observe essentially acts as the comet's travel diary, recording millions or even billions of years of cosmic radiation exposure. Additional support comes from the comet's reddish appearance, consistent with tholins, complex organic substances formed when radiation modifies ices rich in methane and carbon monoxide. Similar reddish coloration appears on distant solar system bodies like Sedna and Megmik, which have also spent countless ages under the steady impact of cosmic rays. Taken together, these clues show that 3i Atlas is not a frozen snapshot of its birthplace, but a product of its long trek through space. Instead of examining an untouched fragment of an alien system, astronomers are watching how the interstellar environment itself reshapes matter. It's a humbling reminder that anything traveling through the galaxy carries chemical marks from the journey. This discovery complicates one of astronomy's long-standing hopes that interstellar comets might reveal pristine material from other planetary systems. If cosmic rays can significantly reprocess these bodies, then everyone we encounter may already be chemically matured before reaching our solar system. That understanding shifts the scientific approach. Rather than hunting for unaltered samples, researchers can study these objects as records of galactic conditions. The radiation-driven chemistry on their surfaces offers clues about how long they've been drifting, how strong the cosmic ray flux has been, and how organic molecules evolve in deep space. In essence, 3i Atlas has become a natural experiment in interstellar physics. As it moves toward perihelion, its closest point to the sun, astronomers will continue monitoring it with JWST and ground-based observatories. If heat penetrates far enough, it might briefly reveal emissions from deeper, less processed layers, but most models indicate the sun's energy won't reach that far. Even so, these continued observations will sharpen models of cosmic ray chemistry, helping scientists understand how different energies and exposure durations alter various ices. This research is vital not only for comets, but also for studying the evolution of organics on icy moons, Kuiper belt objects, and debris around other stars. The discovery also influences how future interstellar visitors will be studied. The Vera Rubin Observatory, which is nearing full operation, will detect such objects earlier, giving researchers more time to examine them. 
Meanwhile, ESA's Comet Interceptor mission is built to rendezvous with a pristine or interstellar comet, preferably before cosmic rays or solar heating erase essential information. In summary, 3i Atlas reshapes our expectations. It shows that interstellar space isn't an empty backdrop, but an active chemical environment that transforms everything passing through it. The radiation once seen as a complication has become a new analytical tool, one that reveals how matter changes as it moves across the galaxy. Even if these travelers no longer preserve the pure chemistry of their birthplaces, they tell us something even larger, how the Milky Way recycles and modifies material over cosmic time. The Comet 3i Atlas is not a flawless relic. It is a survivor sculpted by radiation across its long voyage. Its chemistry tells the tale of both where it came from and the vast journey it has endured. Every future interstellar object will carry a similar message. The universe alters everything it touches. 3i Atlas is stirring up yet another cosmic puzzle. This interstellar visitor has brightened at a rate far beyond what any ordinary comet would display at a comparable distance, and astronomers are struggling to explain why. Since its discovery, this unusual chunk of rock has defied expectations. Its composition is exotic, its light-reflecting properties are extreme, and it emits nickel, but curiously no iron. Fortune may soon aid scientists in unraveling the mystery. The ESA probe juice happens to be perfectly positioned to observe Atlas up close in the coming weeks, offering an unprecedented chance to examine its composition and behavior directly. But why does this interstellar traveler differ so drastically from the comets we know? And what can it tell us about distant alien star systems? At first, everything appeared routine. A telescope in Chile first spotted a small fast moving in July. Initially, astronomers assumed they were looking at a standard asteroid. But the object's speed, an astonishing 58 kilometers per second, immediately suggested an interstellar origin. Following Oumuamua and Borisov, 3i Atlas became only the third confirmed interstellar visitor to our solar system. Like its predecessors, it carried mysteries that challenged conventional models. Early observations revealed that Atlas began releasing gases far beyond Jupiter's orbit. Surprisingly, carbon dioxide dominated over water by a ratio of roughly 8 to 1. This flips the usual cometary script. Most comets release water ice as their main volatile, sublimating closer to the sun. For reference, sublimation is the process by which solids transform directly into gas without becoming liquid. CO2 sublimates at much lower temperatures than H2O, so its dominance in Atlas's emissions indicates a fundamentally different composition. The oddities didn't stop there. Within the coma, the diffuse veil of gas and dust surrounding the comet, nickel was detected without any accompanying iron. This is highly unusual. In nature nickel and iron are formed together in stellar processes and nearly always appear together in cometary material. The absence of iron raises profound questions alongside Atlas's bizarre light-reflecting behavior. Detailed photometric analysis showed extreme negative polarization, meaning sunlight reflects off its surface in a way stronger than ever observed in any other comet. The surface or dust structure of this object is likely unlike anything we've seen, if it is indeed a natural body. Atlas's orbit adds another layer of mystery. Unlike planets, which follow stable elliptical paths, Atlas moves along a hyperbolic trajectory, cutting through the solar system like an arrow before disappearing back into interstellar space. Astonishingly, its path lies almost perfectly in the plane of the planets, a near-cosmic coincidence that allowed Earth-based observers to detect it. Its origin is uncertain, but researchers suspected hails from the Milky Way's thick disk, a less dense, ancient stellar region above and below the main galactic plane. Objects here experience fewer collisions, drifting relatively undisturbed for billions of years. Atlas itself may be over 7 billion years old, nearly twice the age of Earth. Some researchers, including Harvard's Avi Lowe, have suggested that the peculiar trajectory, extreme speed, and unusual physical properties might resemble an artificial solar sail. Lowe stresses, however, that this isn't an alien alarm. Rather, it's a call to remain open to unexpected possibilities and analyze anomalies carefully. The next puzzle, the comet's rapid brightening. Atlas reached perihelion on October 29th, passing just 203 million kilometers from the Sun. Normally, this proximity would cause typical sublimation of ice, forming a glowing coma and ejecting dust that reflects sunlight. Atlas did brighten, but the speed and intensity of the increase far exceeded expectations. Ground-based telescopes were unable to track it at this point due to solar glare, so the brightening was recorded by the twin stereo probes, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, and the GOES-19 weather satellite. Why did it brighten so quickly? Some speculative theories suggest a mothership releasing probes, 
though scientists largely dismiss this. A more plausible explanation may lie in its extreme speed. At perihelion, Atlas was moving at 68.3 km per second, 245,880 km per hour. Its unusual chemical composition may also play a role, particularly the CO2-dominated sublimation, which could cool the nucleus and suppress water sublimation. Researchers Kong Zong and Carl Badams note that peculiarities in the nucleus, composition, shape, or structure, may contribute to the anomalous brightening. For now, the comet's post-perihelion behavior remains unpredictable. Brightness could plateau, continue rising, or decrease rapidly. Here's where luck intervenes. Earth-based telescopes are effectively blind to Atlas at this time, but the ESA space probe juice occupies a fortunate vantage point. Between Venus and Earth's orbit, in the coming weeks, JUICE will pass within 60 million kilometers of Atlas and can observe it directly. This is extraordinary, JUICE, en route to Jupiter's moons, can be repurposed to gather unprecedented measurements of an interstellar object. The encounter isn't simple. Atlas's extreme speed and divergent trajectory mean JUICE can only observe it for a maximum of 30 minutes per day. Despite the time constraint, scientists hope to collect detailed data on gases, particles, and surface composition. These observations could finally reveal Atlas's origin and the unique chemical history of its home system. Data from JUICE will only reach Earth in February, but the potential insight is enormous. This chance convergence of probe and interstellar visitor is a rare cosmic alignment. 3i Atlas has already defied expectations repeatedly. Now, humanity may witness its secrets up close for the first time.